Okay, I'm going to be working on the cruise control on this 2004 F-150. And up under the dash, there are some things that need to be checked. One is the brake on-off switch, which is that blue switch up there. And then the other is the actual brake pedal switch right here. We can check with a scan tool and see if the brake on-off switch is working. It's also called a boo switch. And there's only two wires in it, and in and in out. So the other thing we need to check is this brake switch. So we're going to unplug this and check it with a voltmeter. Okay, so we've got it unplugged, and this very bottom pink and green wire, we're going to check it with a voltmeter. We're going to hook the other end to ground. And we've got a little bit of voltage there. But you'll need to run your shifter through all the gears because in mine, when we shift it and put it in a drive and we touch ground here, there we go. We have 1.4 volts on that wire when the shifter is in drive and that is not good. And that is because the switch inside of here is back feeding voltage. Now there's a service bulletin from Ford that explains all this. TSB 05-6-10 and it describes changing the shift interlock switch for this very problem. So if you want to see that in more depth you can look that up on Google TSB 05-6-1. But we're going to go into this and change out that shift interlock switch. I'm going to use a pry tool here. And this will just pop right off. And then we're going to have four bolts, two on each side, straight down here to remove. There's one down there, and the fourth one right down there. Just got that last one out. Now we can actually grab the whole shifter, and it is still connected by this cable, but we're gonna be changing this piece right here, and that's your connector. So if we just grab the shifter, and we can pull it slightly sideways here, and we get to two Torx headed bolts there. And here is the new part that we have from Ford. Ford part number is right there. And if you wanted to double check that this was your problem, you can actually unplug this controller and our voltage that is stuck at 1.41 volts, I'll unplug it right now, goes to 0.01 volts with that connector unplugged. So that tells us that this part is back feeding, so we're going to replace it. We have a light bulb to so disconnect here and then some clips, and the wire goes across the bottom. Just use a clip puller to so get all your clips out of there. The new one does come with new clips, so no worry there. So it's gonna go under the shifter here and come out the other side here, where we do have another clip right here to remove. And what should be our last clip right here. And then we have to unplug this connector. Some of these are in there pretty tight. I'm gonna have to work it out of there. 
Okay. So I got that out of there, and then you have to lift up on this piece and slide the connector apart. And then reinstall the new Ford part and retest your cruise control. Everything should be taken care of as long as we don't have voltage backfeeding. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. It will help me tremendously. Talk to you later.